Om Trayambaka, Lord Shiva, the three-eyed one, Yajamahe, Sugandhim, the one who is fragrant, has a lot of great virtues. Pushti Vardhanam, the one who nourishes our growth. We talked about how the best way to go through something is to grow through something, to really learn from it. But what is the best way to grow through something? What's the best way to learn from it? There was a father and there was a war in one of the villages and he had four sons and each of the sons were trying to save their own homes. They were trying to protect their own homes. And so they would do everything in their power to just take care of their own families. But they didn't really pay attention to the other people's suffering. And so each one wanted things for themselves only and went to their father to ask for themselves only, to ask for money, to ask for food, to ask for supplies, to protect themselves only. And his, the father looked at all of the sons and said, what are you doing? And, and they kept fighting. They said, my house should get it. The other one said, no, my house should get it. The other one said, my house should get it. And everyone kept fighting and fighting and fighting. Finally, the father went out and he gathered a bunch of sticks and he gave it to them. And he said, take this bundle of sticks and try to break it. So all of them, they each one tried to take the bundle of sticks and they were wrapped together. They were wrapped together. And each one tried to take it and tried to break it, but they couldn't. And they tried and they tried and they tried and nothing would happen. Then the father unwrapped the bundle and he said, now break the sticks. And the sticks were so easily broken. Every one of them was broken and put to the ground. So the father said, see here, if everyone fights for their individual greed, if everyone fights for their own individuality, we will break. But together, if we stand and look at everyone's welfare and unite together, nothing will be able to break us. Nothing can shake us. So in the midst of this, if you stand separate, you'll break. But if we stand together, we won't. And very beautifully, I was, um, I was just reading up on the news and I was listening to what the governor said. And he said that the news or the reports is not counting on the love that New Yorkers have for each other. It's not counting on the support, the togetherness and the unity that we have. So maybe we might see so many things going on, but it's not counting how much we've grown to love each other, care for each other, feel united ever than before. So as long as you and I remain in unity, then we will be okay. But the minute each one of us tries to put our own agenda in the front, if everyone starts thinking like that, then we will break. So when we think of Pushti Vardhanam, who nourishes our growth, nourishing our growth means learning not to just grow on ourselves by our own, but learning to grow together. So today as we reflect on the mantra, think of the ways and means that we can grow together as a society. Go ahead and share the mantra. Find a quiet place in your house where you can sit and just be. We'll start with three O's.
Slowly, just relax your entire body. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your legs. your knees, your thighs, relax your hips, your stomach, chest, your heart center, relax your lower back, your upper back, your shoulders, arms, hands, fingertips, relax your neck, your face, forehead and the tip of your forehead. Just relax. Relax. Breathe in unity togetherness and exhale diversity and individuality. Breathe in unity and togetherness and exhale diversity, individuality. Breathe in unity and togetherness. Exhale, individuality. 